Hello, good yo-yo people. I'm Nate, and this is Let's Talk Yo-Yo. Today on Let's Talk Yo-Yo, I am reviewing the anniversary of the hat trick by General Yo. This is my review of the hat trick. All right, this is the in the hand section. What does it actually feel like in the hand before I throw it? I am inside today because uh, there's a winter vortex that has hit the Ohio region. So uh, it's a whopping, uh, I think two degrees now, which um, is actually a warm front. Uh, but anyways, back to the review. This is the anniversary project. I actually had one of these whenever I first started yo in about 10 years ago, uh, about nine, nine and a half, 10 years ago, somewhere around there. And uh, it was one of those yo-yos whenever I, I got it. I, I was in Kansas City at the time and I was at club and I had got it like the day before uh, yo-yo club in Kansas City. And I went to Blake Freeman there and I said, buddy, I am never getting rid of this yo-yo. I got rid of that yo-yo. <laughs> and so anyways, I, I said I'd never get rid of it, but I did. And so whenever I saw that Ernie was reproducing these as an anniversary project, I was like, I had to jump on board and get one. And um, it's just as awesome as I remember. But in case you're not familiar with General Yo or you're not familiar with the hat trick, um, it is kind of the yo-yo that put them on the map. It was not their first yo-yo, um, but really their first like just, I don't know, I think General Yo sort of set the precedence for what an A-grade smooth yo-yo was at the time and still is. Um, and so whenever you think of, you know, like zero nail vibe, whenever it's spinning and things like that, that's general yo. Um, and, and for a long time, you had that sort of expression, like this is general yo smooth. Um, and they had that standard and they still do. And this one, same thing. I'll talk a little bit more about that on the string section, but this is a undersized yo-yo, which most yo-yos aren't right now. Uh, but back um, in the, you know, mid to late to, I don't know, 2000, what was this, 2008 when it came out, 2008. And so back about that time, most yo-yos were undersized. My first metal actually was a one drop uh, project two, which had the same sort of undersized sort of thing. So this is about 50 um, millimeters in diameter. So fairly small, it's gonna be really great for a lot of those like chopstick type tricks and things like that. Um, I'm actually kind of, that's what I've been playing with. I'm working on some chopstick tricks right now. Um, and uh, it is an organic, sort of that high wall. It definitely has that mid-school feel uh, to yo-yo in that a lot of companies are sort of um, adopting from right now and sort of kind of tweaking and messing with some of those elements like high wall, organics, stuff like that. And this is just, it's just kind of super bubbly. Um, definitely organic, even around the rims, like there's really no sharp edges at all on this. There is a little spike um, and it's, it's sharp enough to matador on a uh, really nice deep IRG there. And um, man, love that colorway too. I don't know if you can see that really well in this light in here, but you'll see it better on the flyover. This is the Sagan uh, colorway, but it has like red and yellow and green and blue all over top of this black. So it's just all speckled. It's just really, really cool, uh, really nice. And that, the finish is that general yo finish. And in fact, I saw pictures of Ernie on the Instagram, uh, actually hand doing this by hand uh, with the actual um, blasting. So it's very, very smooth and because General Yo is also really known for the details, you see that the actual response system, since it is a little bit higher wall, has been masked off, so it's glossier there, so you're not gonna see a lot of string friction um, or wearing down your string and maybe potentially making it uh, fray and break. Um, has the General Yo pads on there. It also has the General Yo um, eight ball bearing. I think it's eight ball bearing, but the um, really, really great bearing. So response is a solid setup man it's just a great yo-yo and definitely has that i'm never getting rid of this yo-yo vibe i don't know if i want to say that though i might kind of jinx it and might get rid of it so uh, but it is really nice and i'm glad i have another one in my collection so let's go ahead and play it and see how it actually plays on the string if it's exactly what i remember all right here we go welcome 
Welcome back to the on the string section with the General Yo hat trick. So it has been 10 years. It's crazy to think that this, uh, I used to have one of these in my hand 10 years ago, and that is the last time I had played with one. And it is just as much fun as I remember. I don't play with a lot of undersized yo-yos anymore, and it does feel strange in the hand. It's really gonna be great for those pockets for chopstick tricks and so on. The response is really nice on this. It actually has some really nice spin times. Um, and it's like, it's hard to compare because this is not a yo-yo that was created this year, it was created 10 years ago, so does it live up to um, some of the standards that sort of modern performance-driven yo-yos do? Um, this, at the time, I mean, really, this was a competition yo-yo. Every yo-yo was sort of focused on performance. Um, this is as good as you could get. And so now you sort of have those categories of like more of a chill yo-yo or more of an everyday carry yo-yo or more of just a laid back yo-yo where then you have yo-yos that are definitely more in those performance you know bimetal yo-yos for instance are definitely more performance driven um, and, and meant for sponsored competition players things like that and that's not this anymore though it was so it's it's hard to compare them um, it's not going to hit necessarily all the modern sort of competition tricks that you would you want anymore. With that high wall, it's really gonna be tricky for horizontal. I mean, it's gonna fall off the plane quite a bit, but that's what you'd expect. You're not gonna probably throw many organics horizontal anyways. You could. Man, that, that grind finish is super nice. Even just kind of popping up into a palm grind is really, really nice. Um, that IRG which was really common. Um, it was rare to see a yo-yo that didn't have a really nice IRG, so you could pop it up and do thumb grinds and things like that um, back when this yo-yo came out. It's super easy to hit. Let's go ahead and throw some of those standard tricks and see how it performs on those. A couple string wraps. Not bad, um, it is grabbing just a little bit, but that was like four or five. Let's see again. It does have that concave bearing in there. It's really nice. It performs just like most yo-yos do today. I mean, the gap. Um, let's do some Eli hops. Really nice. Yeah, even though it's a smaller yo-yo, regens are really fun on this too. see here uh, rejections with that that higher wall gap isn't too bad at all Oops. Let's clock myself in the chin yeah not bad at all uh, for rejections it really does pop out it's it's high walled but it's it's smoothed out quite a bit so it's not just straight up it's again it's really bubbly in that shape um, you, you really, if you took these two halves and kind of flipped it around, you'd almost have a complete ball. In fact, let me show you, see, show you what I'm talking about. So if I took these like this and flipped it around, you can see what I'm talking about. Um, it's very, very bubbly in that feel. Should have done that in the, uh, in the hand section, but you see what I'm saying? Talked about in the hand section, how smooth it was. Dead smooth absolutely 100% smooth, um, which is exactly what you always expected from General Yo. Ernie's pickiness, um, that's kind of one of the reasons why I really like G Squared Yo-Yos too. Um, they sort of, Jake has that same sort of pickiness with his Yo-Yos as far as A grades are concerned. And so when you know when you buy an A grade, it's always gonna be an A grade. Finger spins are actually not, eh, it's a little bit of a challenge because it is a, sm a smaller diameter Yo-Yo. And so, you can do it, which most yo-yos, I mean, people weren't finger spinning 
when this yo-yo came out. Not too many people, at least. Let's go ahead and throw one of my tricks, and then uh, we'll have some last-minute remarks. One of the things I will say on this, as far as stability, it really does work well for regens, but because it's smaller in diameter and all of that, I'm having to find myself kind of like relearning some tricks and kind of playing it differently, um, which, you know, you talked to me nine years ago, I would have been able to play this yo-yo just fine, but I think some of the modern yo-yos with a lot wider um, and just more rim-weighted and things like that um, just are a lot more stable and kind of are a little bit of a crutch. This yo-yo is stable for what it is, um, but it's not gonna be like ultra stable like a performance-driven yo-yo anymore. Uh, you put this, make this yo-yo twice as wide like most yo-yos are right now, um, and it's definitely gonna be, um, have just a little more stable just naturally. So I have to feel like sometimes I have to overcompensate as far as stability on some of the tricks, especially longer tricks, or if there's multiple rejections or things like that, I have to kind of bring it back to its plane. Does that make any sense? Um, but man, that's really good. It's exactly like I remember the hat trick. Um, just really enjoyable to play, super fun, has really good spin times, really smooth in the hand, just is great for um, that comfy, organic feel. Um, and something in the collection that I don't really have right now is an undersized yo-yo that's really gonna be great for hitting some of those smaller pockets. Uh, again, I love playing like chopstick tri type tricks with this yo-yo. Um, anyway, smaller sort of techy type of tricks like that. It might be really nice for that kind of thing. So that's gonna do it for my review of the hat trick. Um, but before I end this review, I do wanna make sure that you guys know about, in my last video, I talked about the um, up and coming Clash of the Ancients 30 and over yo-yo contest. That is kicking off tomorrow. It's today, it's Thursday the 31st. It starts the 1st of February, it's gonna run all month. So if you've not checked that out, I'll have a link in the description uh, to uh, that video and probably also have the list of rules and that sort of thing. So definitely be checking that out. Check out the Yo-Yo X Perform as well that has all that and I will be throwing some shout outs to different uh, sponsors and uh, make sure that you're checking that out. I think it's gonna be a fantastic contest. A few people have already entered and I'm super excited to see some, some really killer tricks, some really awesome looking videos. And so anyways, that's gonna do for my review of the hat trick here. And as usual, good day and good yo-yo. Thank you.